Hey guys, welcome back to Tank Garage. My name is Frank and I'll be the man behind the camera. In today's video, we are installing an Apple CarPlay slash Android Auto head unit in my girlfriend's 2002 Volvo XC70. Volvo, Volvo. Before the video starts, make sure you like, subscribe, and, and turn, turn on post notifications. <laughs> and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any uploads from Tank Garage. Hey guys, so everything is all ready. I got all of the parts already wired into the radio, so the head unit. All we gotta do now, guys, is remove the whole old stuff. Um, I do recommend you guys to unplug the battery. It's not the end of the world if you don't, but it is recommended uh, when you do any type of work on these cars to unplug the battery. So, what we're gonna do is uh, the battery. Where's the battery on these things? Let me uh, let me uh, not be a noob moment and find the battery on this bad boy, which I believe is under the hood. I don't know why I came back here, but anyways, you guys get the point. I'm so used to my S60's battery being in the in the trunk. So we have the head unit right here. Uh, it is, I believe, a seven-inch Apple CarPlay. It's actually very, very well, very big, and it's going to fill out pretty much which what i calculated about 90 percent 99 percent of the let me turn the lighting up you guys so about 99 percent of this area which the old radio is in is going to be filled up with the new head unit let's get right into it Alrighty, guys so let me just close the door so it stops dinging step number one is going to be bringing the gear lever to the drive position so you can get an access to the pen holder once you do get access to the pen holder you want to use one of these uh, specialty tools to kind of just pop it out of place just like that there we go and then you want to go and do the same thing on the other side pop it out of place i'm just gonna shut down the camera just so I could uh, work on this and I'll show you guys after. Very easy, once this is out, you're gonna have two Torx screws at the bottom over there and then you will be able to take out all of the AC unit and once that is done, you'll be able to take off the screws, uh, the Torx screws for the radio as well and this whole assembly at the top comes off. Hey okay guys, so put the car back in park while I'm undoing the screws here just so the car doesn't start rolling away when I'm not paying attention. You do want to be careful and put your fingers in there because that is a pit of doom. Um, I'm going to actually put the screw somewhere in here so we don't lose it. So number one is out. And then number two... Smell like Cheetos. Smells like Cheetos? Yeah. Number two's coming out. This one's a little, this one's a little harder to take out the angle here, guys, with the, oh, I think it's coming out. Okay, got it. So, now that these two screws are out, guys, you'll be able to pull this assembly out. Uh, this one, you're going to have clips on the side here. So, what you want to do is get your tool right about here, and you just want to, these tools are not that strong. I think I'll have to pull it down myself. There's two clips at the top, which you guys heard right there, that I don't want to break. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. So, clips are out. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to grab back the keys. You want to put the car back into drive and just make sure that the car doesn't roll off. I'm just gonna close the door so this doesn't start turning. Leave it in position number two. And then you wanna go ahead and push this to the side here. You don't need to disconnect this, guys, by the way, uh, to remove everything. It, it is manageable without disconnecting all of these and then having to reconnect them back. So once that is done, my girlfriend's just gonna lower the camera a little bit, please. So right around here, you guys can't really see them too well, but there is one screw right here and then one other screw at the other side. We're gonna do the same thing and unscrew these. So I believe these are about the same length. Yep, yeah, so we should have no issues mixing them. These ones are a little easier to reach, but still with the steering wheel here, you're working in semi-tight spaces. Just want to make sure that you don't drop those. Oh, it didn't come out completely. Oh, I just didn't pull on it. Okay. So now that this is out, what you want to do, guys, you want to gently, this one's going to be a little bit harder. 
Um, what you want to do is go at the bottom here and you want to just pull it off just like that. I'm just going to grab the camera. So as you guys can see right here, this part was stuck under there back here. If my camera can focus, you just want to pull it out just a tiny little bit like that. I'll give it the camera back to my girlfriend. And then what you want to do, you want to just pull down on it very gently, just like that. Then what you can go ahead and do and is put the car in park. Once we're like that, I'm just going to take all of the stuff that's here out. And then what you do guys is you're going to have two clips in the back right here. You want to just push on them and pull out. We're just going to take the camera out guys just for uh, space purposes because there is not a lot of space here. Um, and uh, that's it. Alrighty guys, so connectors out. You're going to have those connectors right here. So it's one connector over here and two connectors right here. Pull the whole assembly out. Uh, what we have to do now is to remove this little particle, uh, which is the uh, bin here. I believe it is just a uh, pull and push, looks like, from here. And uh, we're going to put this one onto the new bracket. I've already uh, got myself an extra bracket like this to put on the new radio, so everything's just going to slide in properly. Alrighty, guys, so once you have this part out, I'm just going to get closer to the camera. Uh, you just got to use those two pins right here. Film what I'm showing here. So those two pins right here, you want to put it on the side just like that. And then you want to just push and make sure that these clips in the back right here, which are actually pretty hard to uh, remove, you want to make sure that they're in. So just like that, as you guys can see, it's not going anywhere. Never mind, it is. Slap it. Well, slapping it. Oh, there we go. By slapping it, we fixed it. So see, it's pretty solid in there. And you guys can get a first view of what the module would look like. Actually a pretty nice big screen. Would need a cleaning and probably a little polish because it is scratchy. Um, but other than that, everything looks good. So I've already went ahead and uh, wired all the connectors. So all of these connectors are already done. You don't need to do nothing. You just plug the OEM ones right into these. And uh, you have your antenna right here. You wanna make sure to plug also all of the other wirings. So we're gonna go right here. So you have a bunch of other cables which we're gonna plug. So like the aux, uh, probably the microphone for the Bluetooth or Bluetooth device. Uh, there's also a CarPlay, I believe, which is this one, which we can plug the phone in. So we'll go ahead, test fit this first without plugging anything. And then we'll uh, try plugging everything and uh, getting everything in and out. So maybe if you don't mind just closing the door so it doesn't beep. So we're going to go ahead and uh, reformat everything, make sure everything is nice and good. As we can see, the radio is working amazing. Let's see if put the sound down. Everything seems to work properly. Uh, so we'll go ahead and see, you're going to have your YouTube, your Bluetooth, uh, your Google Maps, which are going to be right here. It's not going to work, guys, because the antenna is not plugged in yet. Uh, but it is nice to know that, see, you just see nothing, um, but it is nice to know that it is there. It is fully touched, the screen, it works actually pretty well. Uh, you could change everything. As we can see here, there's zero satellites because we haven't connected anything yet. You can connect your Bluetooth uh, through here. A bunch of different phones that were connected prior. So one of my friends actually gave me uh, this Apple CarPlay. So you could actually do an OBD check as well with this one, which is pretty nice. Uh, you're gonna have access to fault codes torque management and things like that. I don't know if this is an actual thing that works, but look, Profile XC70, it actually connected to the car properly. So, wow, this is actually kind of cool. So what we'll do now is uh, we'll make sure that everything works properly, first of all. Uh, and then once we got everything hooked up, plugged in back correctly, uh, we'll go ahead and test it with the Bluetooth, with the sound, with the maps and everything before we go ahead and put everything back in because you don't want to be, you know, clipping everything, screwing everything back in place if the screen doesn't work. But up to now, from what I see, radio seems to work fine. Everything, there doesn't seem to have any issues. And uh, we'll just go through and reformat it, fix the time, fix all of these uh, temperature things and stuff like that. Alrighty guys, so we got everything connected back here. So we figured out uh, that my friend forgot to give me uh, the adapter. So where is that? So there's an adapter that needs to go into here for the Apple CarPlay because this is an Android station. So in order to run the Apple CarPlay, you do need that. We got the microphone, 
plugged in. We also have the GPS plugged in. We're just gonna have to uh, figure out this wiring mess. I'll probably run the microphone off to the side here and uh, right over here facing towards the driver, which would make the most sense. So everything's working pretty neat, pretty nice. We'll put everything back together, guys, pretty much the same way. You wanna make sure that these clip, you push them onto the top right over here. Same thing as the other one. Make sure to put back your little cup thingy here and uh, that's pretty much it. So let's put everything back together and we'll see you guys at the final result. Alrighty guys, everything's installed. I did do an oopsie, yo you Okay, I did do an oopsie. Um, one of the bolts of the AC unit here actually fell inside the pit of doom. Like this is the real pit of doom. So I was able to just run the wire from here for now. I'm probably gonna drill a hole inside of the pen holder here because nobody's gonna ever use that. Um, we also thought of drilling a hole right through these that are not used, but it's kind of complicated in the background. Um, so here we go with the music. Uh, everything works good from what we see Everything works good um, The only thing that doesn't work up to now would be uh, the Google Maps. We have to figure out why this is not uh, Doing the thing it says we're in offline mode even though it Says here that we have 10 satellites connected, but we could still figure that out in the after um what is this Mr. Patrol? Anyways, it's a big Apple CarPlay, big Android Auto thing, guys. So there's a lot of things to figure out. We have to... Uh, wow, the time actually fixed itself. 6.32. That's actually the exact time. And as you guys can see, everything fits literally perfect. I told you guys 99%. Well, that's actually like 100%. I'm not even joking. This looks like it was made for this i don't know i don't know if my friend took the old casing out and put this one in for me to help me out but actually looks very very good guys so you have of course the bluetooth to do the phone calls uh you have your music you could start stop all of your things there is somewhere for the apple carplay but we're i believe we're missing something to make it work uh it says please insert the box into the usb port so i think that's what we're missing um and then uh, that's pretty much it guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed this install i got one happy girlfriend here with this actually looks really good guys it literally looks oem like there's absolutely nothing to do for that so thank you guys for watching today's video if you guys enjoyed today's video guys if you guys can see me properly make sure to like subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any uploads from tank garage see you boys